Jeremy Vine on Channel 5. Marina Perkis up against Peter Bone. She dropped some truth bombs on him, and he really had no coherent answers. None that made sense, anyway. Let's have a look at some of these home truths, shall we? You've got to look at this. So you're one of these people, I'm sure, who is saying that we need to maximise our Brexit and the opportunities, and that means deregulating, right? So if you're going to want to deregulate, you're going to want to drop our envi environmental standards, our consumer protections, our workers' rights, you're going to send these substandard, shoddy, cheaply made pro uh, products into Northern Ireland, then of course we need, the, the EU is going to need to have jurisdiction there. Of course it is, because that's what you want to do. And please at least be transparent with people that that's what you want to do. You want to lower, you want to drop all our standards, but, but be transparent at least about what the impact of that is. And you're not being that. You're all talking about preserving the sanctity, this faux patriotism around Brexit. It's nothing to do with that. It's about squeezing more money out of production to make the really wealth, biz wealthy business owners even wealthier. And then you don't want the, the EU to step in when actually they've got substandard products making their way into their market. Peter Be Byrne. honest about it. Peter Byrne. Well, it's United Kingdom Parliament that decide the standards and regulations, and you're suggesting that the Parliament will... Yes, uh, yes. Past Peter, regulations yes. that yes, will Peter, allow... Because you're the so, par it's the Parliament that decided and agreed to push sewage into our waters. So, no, I don't trust your Parliament to do anything for the benefit of this country. No, I mean, I'm afraid that's an absurd and incorrect comment. Okay. And the fact is that one of the reasons people wanted to come out of the European Union was so that workers' salaries would increase and wages would increase in this country. And why, because we wouldn't be importing cheap labour, and that's what's happened. And that's a good thing. So I'm, I'm afraid I think We've none of you are... We've got wage stagnation, Peter, but sure, other than that, you're absolutely spot on. All right, let, let... And, of course, Marina is absolutely correct. UK workers are some £11,000 worse off than we were in 2008. It's astonishing Peter Bone has the nerve to sit there and suggest wages are on the increase. And then you combine that with the soaring inflation. In fact, inflation went up again by 0.3% in what was considered an unexpected rise. So it's still at, I think, 10.4%. So for him to have the cheek to suggest Brexit has had some benefits in terms of wage increase is laughable. And by the way, look at the fight certain industries have on their hands to get a fair deal. And his government, his party, have stopped most of these deals happening at every turn. Only now are they starting to come to the table and actually get some deals done because I think they've realised that they're going to put all their eggs in the one basket of the of the migrant culture war. Uh, that's going to be their 100% focus going into the next general election. It will all be around migrants and migrant boats and hotels. I think they've realised arguing with the unions doesn't really have much mileage going forward. They've exhausted that. So migrant boats is the... Uh, is the thing they'll be concentrating on primarily. But Marina is absolutely correct here. When she says he is one of those people who bangs on about the benefits of Brexit and how we need to capitalise on the benefits of Brexit, he is 100% talking about deregulation. 100%. Lowering standards to get things done cheaper and make more money for the businesses he's involved with, more than likely, right? And that does mean lowering standards, and that does mean products leaving the United Kingdom would would have lower standards than products being produced in the European Union. And so the European Union absolutely has to protect their own interests and stop these potentially bogus British products entering their market. She's 100% correct. So it was nice to see her dropping a few truth bombs on him there. Um, what was particularly amusing was the suggestion that he came back with the almost like a straw man, wasn't it? Are you suggesting that uh, the, the UK Parliament would, would push through? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. You lot, 100%. Other people, maybe not so much. But y y Tories and your... Uh, yes. You'd push through anything. to de You'd deregulate anything.
You'd deregulate your own grandmother if you could. So, well done. Good job. Thank you for watching.